I am a heterosexual transgender woman. My first time that I encountered a, a trans man that I didn't know was a trans man, when I found out that they were a trans man, I was already in it. So in the space That's good. that I was like, all right, well, let me go head on and just see how this works. Mm -hmm. But then the stipulations came and the stipulations in the sex department was you can't fuck me. And so for me, it's just like, but you can't fuck me with no plastic dick either. <laughs> I got enough dick for both of us. <laughs> so you can't fuck me with no with no unreal dick, and you don't and you don't want the real dick. So this not gonna work. You have to come to a compromise. If that was the compromise, right? I would have probably stayed in the situation if I could have fucked. That's just me. Mm -hmm. That's good. To the part, I can't. You're not fucking me with a scrap on. I have a boot. I haven't, I don't reduce, I didn't reduce my trans friend down to his anatomy because I liked everything else, but it just came to, when it came down to having stipulations on, on sexual, how we, wanna, we were going to have sex. That was the deal breaker. That was the deal breaker for me. Because it's like, you not finna be fucking me <laughs> with no deal though. <laughs> so good. So basically, you saying that you would have been in a relationship, but you just would be having a different sex partner. Uh, you weren't fucking me with no deal, though. That was the, that was really your that only. That's your real only. You ain't option. fucking me yeah. with no deal, though. I, else I'm all right with everything else. Yeah. I was like, okay, I might could do this. I didn't, you know. But it was when we got down to the to, to the part. I can't. You're not fucking me with a scrap on. I have a booty hole. <laughs> and so because I have a booty hole and you have a you have a vagina and you don't know when when I'm when a man fucking me we can both when me and a nigga is having intimate sex with each other we can both feel what's going on here. Because he inside of me, he feel this going on. I feel that going on. We feeling that. A deal, though, this, that, that you ain't going to feel none of that shit. I'm sorry. I don't, so don't come in here enjoying life. Don't come in here asking me what's wrong with a deal, though. I'm a cock hound. I've told y'all this before. I want the dick. I want the dick to come. I want that. That's what I came in the room for. The dick, the cum. <clears throat> Did you play the last one? Oh, yeah, I played them all. I played them all. That was it. All right. Girl, I'm glad I wasn't here. <laughs> well, you're here now, bitch. Mm -hmm. I'm about to add this HSBCU, all this other fucking shit you got going on. Uh huh. Let me explain something to you motherfucking hoes, right? There was a woman, I'm not even going to call her name, a woman, a, a, a cisgender, I, I'm saying it all today, so if y'all hoes may get the fuck out, a cisgender woman who uh, is heterosexual that took it upon herself to call me misogynistic mm -hmm. and to say that I don't like women. Mm-hmm. Because I don't want a motherfucker. What? I don't want a motherfucker fucking me with no scrap. This scrap right here is in the house because a man, a cisgender, heterosexual identified man brought this with him. He brought this with him because his dick was not big enough. And it was what? It was not big. His dick, his penis was not big enough. <laughs> for, for what? For me. Oh. And so he, I still have this here because he brought this with him. But it looked like it's been put away because it's very linty. It is. That was definitely put up because ain't nobody, he fucked himself with this. I washed it off and I put it the fuck up. Now, full of lens. a had a cisgender heterosexual identified male, not a transgender male, bitch. He, I, I told that nigga, do not fucking me with no motherfucking scrap. <laughs> I told that nigga, 
You not fucking me with no motherfucking scrap. I told that nigga that you was not fucking me with no scrap. I told him that. I want to be clear before I get deep into this shit. Go ahead. I told him that. You ain't God gave you whatever the amount of dick he gave you. Give me that. <laughs> whatever it is. Whatever a size it is. God gave you that amount of dick. So give me that. Straight up. Cause this ain't got shit. I don't feel this. I don't this is I don't feel motherfucking this. I, these is not real balls. I don't feel this. You're not running this in me. I took this, I let him suck me, and I put this in him. Because I had enough dick for both of us. And this was just extra for him. Because this don't do a motherfucking thing for me. Not to you trans men that felt some type of way and went for anything that's male identified. Whatever amount of dick you got, that's what I need. Whatever amount of dick that you have, I like dick that's attached to a motherfucker, bitch with nuts at the bottom. Whether it's big or motherfucking small, bitch, it's dick. Okay? When I told y'all hoes my story about my experience, all y'all bitches got in y'all feeling and it, it centered around y'all and left me out. I said, ain't nobody fucking me in my booty hole with no motherfucking scrap. And I meant that. If y'all feelings was hurt by that because Mo was laughing and Stephen was laughing, that don't got nothing to do with me. It don't have nothing to do with me. Okay? Those are my preferences. If you offended by my motherfucking preference, suck my dick today. The real one. The real dick. Okay? <laughs> suck my dick today. And to that woman, that cisgender woman who tried to make this about I don't like women, I didn't say anything about my transgender friend's vagina. I didn't even refer, I didn't even say that he had a vagina. I didn't say anything like that. What I said was that we were not compatible in the bed because he, he told me, he said to me, ma'am, I don't want you talking about your dick. I don't want to see your dick. I don't. So what about me? What about my motherfucking feelings? Right. What about what I need? What about me? Y'all didn't hear me telling y'all that the gentleman didn't tell me that he was a trans man until we were two, three months into our relationship. Nobody addressed that. Nobody. And honestly, you found out. His, I found out. Right. You didn't even. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> addressed that. <laughs> Nobody. Everybody addressed how they feel and how I, they were minimized and how I made a mockery of trans men. Everybody told me about their feelings. Nobody say shit about mine. I'm in here. I done, I done got into a situation with a gentleman and the gentleman is a trans man. And I'm over here like, I, you know, like I'm going to I'm going to give it a try. I could have said a whole heap of transphobic shit and said, I don't want no motherfucking pussy. If you was born with a pussy, I don't want it. I could have said all that. I didn't. I didn't reduce them to their genitalia. I just said, well, let's have, what are the stipulations? They walked in the door telling me up front, they don't want to see my dick. They don't want to motherfucking hear anything. They don't want to even hear me talk. I'm like, I'm T.S. Madison. I talk about my genitalia. I was a prostitute, bitch. I talk about the things that have went on in my life. I am T.S. Madison. I am T.S. Madison. Why are you even? And I was so angry because I'm like, why are you here trying to put a fool over me when I'm the most outspoken transgender woman who talks about her genitalia? So you is with the wrong trans woman, bitch, because I'm going to talk about what God gave me. And I can unravel it, bitch. And so because nobody, nobody talked about that. I said it all in the video. Nobody talked about that. My video wasn't even about trans men. My video was about people. It was about August Alcina dating a man and still identifying as heterosexual. And I told my story like I got into a situation where I would ne I've never been in before. And I, I liked the person a lot, almost to almost to what I thought I loved them. Mm. I was to that space.
And so I was willing to compromise and be like, hey, I've never done anything like this before. So let's tr- let me try it. So well, so let's talk about what we're going to do when we first when the, when the trans man and I first got together. He had already I thought that he was a piece of trade that was telling me, no, nah, this is my first time with a trans girl. I don't want to see none of that because I've lived that life before. I'm 47. And to the trans motherfucking man who was sitting up there telling fairy puss, bitch, that I'm old and outdated and don't nobody want me. Bitch, real niggas want me, bitch. You fuck butch queens, ho. (laughs) Real niggas want me, bitch. You fuck butch queens. And I ain't got no problem with gay niggas, bitch. But they don't, gay niggas don't want me. (laughs) Gay niggas don't want me, puss. You lay on your back, bitch, and you take dick in your motherfucking pussy. When you hoes think that y'all can get disrespectful with me, I'm the wrong bitch that you want to get disrespectful with because I don't give a fuck about nothing transphobic, homophobic, bitch, straight or phobic. I don't give a fuck, bitch, because my mouth is lethal. It's lethal, and I don't give a fuck about no community shit with none of that shit. Bitch, I don't want your pussy. So you don't got to want me, ho. Puss ass, ho, which whatever you is, puss ass, ho, you don't have to want me. You don't have to want me. You don't have to desire me because I don't want your bitch ass either. You don't have no nuts. <laughs> bitch. So when you come in the door trying to insult me about whatever, and I sat right there and I said, I've never been with a trans person. I want to give this, I, I want to give it a try because I, I have feelings for this mm-hmm. person who has trapped me because he didn't tell me what the fuck he was and have trapped me into an emotional place. None of you puss ass niggas ain't talk nothing about that. It was all about y'all put y'all, y'all prosthetics and y'all motherfucking scraps. But y'all ain't say nothing about that. I get sick of you bitches, all you motherfucking bitches, coming somewhere with your feelings on your sleeve because you feel some type of way about me. It's me that you feel a, a personal way about. <clears throat> Y'all be having all these fucking problems and be going through this stuff. And I'm sitting over here like, hold up, hold up, hold up. So did no, so did nobody hear what I said? That he told me that he didn't want nothing to do with my dick. He didn't want to see it. He was going to fuck me face down as that's the only way he was going to fuck me. And I'm like, sir, excuse me. Hold on here. So let me roll out my stipulations. No. No, nigga. I don't want no prosthetic. I don't want no deal door. I don't want no plastic. I don't give a. I don't want no stove out dick, bitch. Since you done, since you done read my dick to the floor, the fuck. And you bitch nigga, whoever you do, you bitch nigga out there that's a trans man, you bitch Puerto Rican nigga. I don't want your bitch ass either. You don't have no nuts, ho. Mind how you talk to me, bitch. I am your elder. (laughs) Puss ass fuck nigga with a pussy. (laughs) Bitch nigga. Girl, you're his what? And to that cunt that sat over there and made that whole hour video about me being, I don't, me being massaging, because I don't want a bitch getting on me with no motherfucking scrap. This my booty. (laughs) This my motherfucking booty, bitch. Mine. I don't have to have a motherfucker. I don't want nothing in my booty. I don't have to take it. I told a real nigga. He couldn't use this on me. He got to give me whatever dick he got. I told a real nigga that. I don't give a fuck what y'all clip and cut up from this bitch and have think pieces about it. Suck my dick, my real dick. (laughs) This ain't had nothing to do. What y'all hoes should have been sitting around was having a conversation about how T.S. Madison said I got in a relationship with a trans man. I didn't know that he was a trans man. I was tricked in it, bitch. And once this happened, I was like, you know what? My feelings are here now. Mm. And we're here, so let's give it a try. Not everybody else excluded all that and was like, oh, well, we talking about a... 
she's making a mockery of trans men and this and other. This is why I don't talk about you niggas. I don't talk about the last time I had a full conversation about you trans niggas, you trans men niggas, bitches, when I had a show <laughs> called Unapologetically, <laughs> called Unapologetically Bro, You. I need a moment. Hold on, we'll scoot over there, God Wait, damn it. please, baby. I'll unapologetically <laughs> meet you at the dog. And I had two trans men on my fucking show. You <laughs> niggas had a whole problem. Y'all went, y'all went to pulling y'all pussy hair loose, bitch. Girl. Talking about motherfucking how I was on there disrespecting because these oh. because these trans men came on my motherfucking show and shared their experience. They shared their experience and told niggas. me because the the trans man that I was in, that I that I brought on my show at the time identified as a lesbian he came out on my show as a trans man he came out and he said you know what and and all i knew him for at the time was her his pronouns were she and her at the time all the way until that, that moment until that moment on the show and i was like oh god i didn't know this okay great and i i adhered to the rules and regulations of being respectful okay the other trans man that sat on my show said that he was fluid you can call him he she her he, he said all that you niggas with pussies Got all out y'all skin and called me all kind of transphobic and y'all don't fuck with me and y'all feel some type of motherfucking way and all this shit y'all y'all start coming up because of these people experience and here we go I stopped I I stopped talking about trans men from that day that was in 2011. Hold on, Craig, I got to get this out. Okay, I stopped talking about trans. That was in 2011. I I, I never said a word about trans men again. Never. <laughs> Because y'all went through this whole thing about y'all was offended and y'all was just in the other about these people's story. I came forth and sitting over here and told my experience. And I what I did in my motherfucking experience was I said uh, I was willing to have a tr to take this on or whatever. This motherfucker had all types of stipulations about my penis first. And then I laid it on the line. Hey, 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 nigga, nah. <laughs> nah, nigga. Mm -hmm. Nah, we ain't doing this. Nah, you done came here and laid all these ground rules down. I mean, why you ain't tell me you was a motherfucking bitch in the beginning? Mm. Bitch. Oh, I'm here now with you pussy asshole because I'm sick of y'all with the fuck shit on me. Everything y'all offended. Oh my God. Madison is a master for the bitch you hold. Fuck y'all pussy assholes. That's exactly the way I'm feeling in this moment. And then I got this bitch over here, this motherfucking goddamn cunt. Who with who who I did is a cisgender woman talking about I don't like women because I don't want this bitch to get on my back with no fucking scrap. What what how the fuck you came into play with this hoe? How this became about how are all y'all centered now? And I'm over here to the left telling y'all about my experience. And I, I'm over here to the left now, bitch, and the bitch in the wrong. How? I don't understand. Come on, Craig. Come Girl, on. and this is exactly why I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to call everybody by their name. <laughs> I'm not getting into the them, they, him, he, her, she, that. What's your name? That's all you had to say? That's all I had to say. To that bitch that looked like a nigga that was up there calling me washed and old and don't nobody want me. And all this. I don't want you, sir. You have a <laughs> pussy. Sir, you, you have, have a, a pussy. you have a pussy. <laughs> I don't want you, bitch, and you let gay niggas, as fags, get on top of your motherfucking milky yak and dig you out, <laughs> and that's your preference. I am a heterosexual trans motherfucker sexual bitch, and if you don't know how, to, if you don't know what that is, run it, Craig. What is that? Girl, <laughs> H H HSBCU. Girl, I ain't even been back in the country for four days. I don't give a fuck. Run it. Girl, I have not been back for four days. But you know, but let me just say this. A part of what she said, that woman that you're talking about, the underbelly of this is she obviously doesn't understand sexual identity, uh, gender, 
and all of those things because why is it that because you're so it's almost like she's suggesting that because you're trans and this trans man is trans that is transphobic because you don't want to have a sexual relationship with him Craig, I was open to having a sexual relationship Correct. with him, but the problem was he started from the beginning telling the me from at the door, "Don't talk about your dick. I don't want to see your see dick. Right. I'm only gonna hit you from the back. You need to be face down, ass up. You just did totally and to it's totally excluded my excluded." And then so I countered with you and be like, "Nah." But see, the thing is, with respect to her, the woman that we're talking about. We talking about the cisgender, the woman, cisgender woman, not the trans man, right? Because I do respect trans men as being men, but the ones that disrespect me, you a bitch, ho. <laughs> I don't want your motherfucking pussy, nigga, sir. You can call me old and wash all you want to. You will never get this dick, bitch, because you. I don't want to give it to you. I barely don't even want to fuck men in the ass, pussy ass hoe. If you hoes knew me, then you would know my motherfucking story, bitch. And what y'all punk pussy bitches ain't gonna do that go for cisgender, transgender, faggots, dykes, any motherfucking identity. You're not gonna come over here and police the way I tell my experiences and my story. You're not gonna do that. I don't give a fuck what age we living in. Suck my dick. Or tell you who to fuck. And you're not gonna tell me that you offended because I don't want this in my ass. Because I don't. I can't I can't feel this. Ain't no soul on this for me. These ain't veins. This is plastic. <laughs> you don't know what I don't know when this, this don't never come. I want the I said it before. I want the nut, the cum, bitch, the cream, the souls. That's what I said. I don't get disrespectful to you, pussy ass niggas get disrespectful. And that pussy nigga with that pussy. <laughs> Puss ass Cuban Puerto Rican nigga. I don't even know who the fuck you is, bitch. Suck my real dick, hoe. <laughs>